What's up, motherfuckers? We're looking at Luna 2.0 right now. So, I'm going to be going over why I think this looks pretty good, but there is one, one flaw. So, definitely stay tuned because, um, well, I mean, you won't find out if you don't. So, but overall, Luna Classic, or not Luna Classic, Luna 2.0 looks pretty good. But I'm not convinced that we actually are getting ready to take off here just yet. So, first thing I do want to point out here is the 236. You can see this is kind of like where we are finding a lot of support at. Um, we only actually had one daily closure below this 236, which is at $2.40. And as of right now, we actually wicked up today a little bit shy of the 382, which is at $3.26. Now, going from here the next major area that you are looking to find a closure above would be this 50 level which is actually at four dollars 17 cents and that is for upside movement so for downside movement let me explain the problem all right so we have this fib right here we're gonna look at this in the lens of saying, okay, this is your all of like your wave one right here, and you're looking at a wave two. So you can see we did go down, test the 764. We wicked a little bit past through the 764 and 786. Right now we currently are finding resistance at this 618, which is at two dollars seventy-seven cents. Ninety-six. We're currently at two dollars seventy-seven cents. Zero eight. Now. The main problem that I have with this is that there's a gap. And if we actually look at the fixed volume profile from the beginning to now, it's actually right at the 764. So that's why I'm going over both because like this very well can go both ways, but I'm not fully convinced because this this part scares me a little bit is that if we don't take this from like you're just spawn candle by God himself, you actually have your like mean line or most traded at like volume area right at our 854 level, which is at $1.87. Now, that being said, would be able to explain as to why if this is a larger wave one, why we go back through and w went straight past all these levels right here on top of that this is where the gap is this is almost exactly where the gap is right here it's a very small gap but it is a gap nonetheless right here we're gonna go like that just so that you guys can see it like in like perspective at the very least. So I'm not saying that it really needs to be filled, but that is one of my like main concerns to a degree because it very, very well can be like a, I guess a stipulation, but on the other hand, it could mean very little to almost nothing and yeah so once again going back to this though if we actually are able to clear this 50 level right here you have like little to no volume so you might come up short of this 382 or you'll just go straight to it um, and then you might find like a drawback right there, which if we actually do invert this scale really quickly You do have the 618 right there, so that would make some type of sense um, That being said what would my overall thought on all of this be is Other than the like more like short-term maybe even like medium term um i'm pretty bullish i uh, i maybe but like i said if you are actually are able to clear this then well mainly if you are able to clear this 618 because like i just showed you if you pass through this 50 level you're more likely not going up to that 618 
If you're able to clear that, then I think you're in like a definite go-go zone. So we'll draw one more box, I guess, right here. That's where we kind of want to look for. So pretty much two daily closures above this 618, which is at $4.12. But mainly right now, what we are looking at is the 50 level. So if you're able to do that, then I think you're going to continue going on from here, which if that is the case, then what would we be looking at is from the high to low, we would be looking for the 1618 which the 1618 puts us at $18.08. Um, yeah, so that's really gonna be about it. None of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions, and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.